New York City is not doing well at all. Between the truckers and the migrant crisis, the city basically is running out of money. And if you guys are thinking that the trucker situation is over, think again. Because the trucking boycott is still going on. In fact, I can tell you, it's going on even stronger than before. And we already have a lot of videos and testimonies from individual truckers that are very interesting. More updates about the trucking boycott because it's one of the biggest things happening with New York City. Alongside with the whole Donald Trump situation. So check this out by the real trucker Jake. He's saying that's still too early to tell, but he has been told right now that in New Jersey and New York, there are a lot more available loads than drivers, and he will be adding in more information as time goes on. This is a very rare thing to find, right? And all throughout the whole trucking industry, every time you see that there is way more loads than drivers, especially for a city as big as New York, and especially very populated states like New Jersey, in the state of New York, something is wrong. And obviously there's a massive boycott. Not to mention New York City basically screwed themselves by adding in crazy amount of tolls. And he's basically saying is the first time he's ever seen this and there's gonna be more information as time goes on. And a lot of other tri truckers are also saying the same thing. Check this out, we got another trucker on X. This guy also has a lot of followers. Got sent a load that delivers to New York. I called my dispatch had a nice, respectable, but firm conversation about that load, and now he's heading to Tennessee instead. He's refusing the load to New York. This is perfect with whatever that you know Jake is saying. Jake basically is saying that you know many truck drivers are actually boycotting this because at first, many people outside the trucking industry all thought that the trucker boycott for New York City was over. But what Jake said here, and also what this trucker said, they both collide together very well, like a good suit. So what we're seeing right now is many drivers are boycotting New York City and New York is feeling the heat. We're also seeing smaller companies out there like Callahan Auto, they are refusing and they are still refusing on shipping any products to New York City and they're also utilizing independent truckers as much as possible to make sure that they're not going to New York City either. We're seeing a little bit of business, especially a lot of the business in the trucking world. And the trucking community is a very tight-knit community as well. There's only about 355,000 truckers in the United States. So that means they all kind of know each other. It's kind of a small world. And many truckers, they stand with each other. Truckers are with truckers all the time. And you clearly see that New York is taking a big beating. The price of loads are also getting more expensive with many truckers saying that because there's so many more loads than drivers in the New Jersey and New York area, they're seeing extra $2,000. If you're going to New York City, we're going to give you extra two grand. And the thing is, not every trucker is boycotting New York. That's also a big misconception. There's still plenty of truckers going to New York City, but remember, you just need 20% of truckers boycott New York City and you're going to be having way more loads than drivers. And are 20% of drivers boycott New York City? Absolutely yes, okay? In fact, it's about 22 to 23% of drivers that are boycotting the New York City loads. So that's a big deal. And we're gonna be seeing more of this boycott situation as time goes on. And it seems to be gaining a lot more steam than what a lot of people have thought. Even I myself thought it wouldn't be this powerful, but it really is. As there's more loads than driver, prices go up. And that will be afflicting on the shelves of New York City. And look at this, New York is doing some of the craziest stuff right now. Are they addressing anything about the trucker boycott? Absolutely not. You know, Mayor Eric Adams is focusing all his attention, money, and basically his personnel on the New York City migrant crisis. You know what's really crazy about this crisis, migrant crisis? Even New Yorkers are sick and tired of this, okay? There's already protests coming out from Harlem. We're already seeing Mayor Eric Adams get a little bit scared because the public is going against him. And he's actually finally slashing a little bit of money off the migrant crisis. And hopefully he puts that money that he slashed off to better uses like maybe helping on the domestic homeless population or the domestic crime, the heavy amounts of shoplifting. New York City is crumbling to dust right now. If you look at this, Adams is also calling for modifying the sanctuary city status. Says that migrants who commit crimes should be deported. This is the very first time we saw any sort of harness from the mayor. In fact, even the New York governor is like, hey, Let's make New York City a big sanctuary city. And now they're like, hold on a second, let's backtrack that. 
Let's make sure that chill out with the immigration because too many people are coming to New York. Seems like New York is doing a huge U-turn. They look at their budget, they see they're going broke, and they're also freaking out. And of course, there's a long series of well-publicized crimes committed by migrants. And Eric Adams, you know, he's getting a lot of pressure from the local community, the domestic citizens in New York that voting him into power. Many of them are sick and tired of this. And finally, Adams like, okay, I guess I need to do something about migrant crisis. New York is already going to chaos. If he doesn't do anything to stop it, it's only going to get worse. Okay, even the Harlem neighborhood is against him, okay? A lot of people, even the homeless population, okay? Even the people who are lower income, you know, people in the Bronx, you know, a lot of people in Brooklyn, you know, everyone, every single person, no matter what your social status is, you could be really poor, middle class, or rich in New York City, everyone is against New York City's mayor right now. And no wonder there is a sudden U-turn because a lot of these politicians are a little bit freaked out right now. So thanks for watching, guys. Comment below. I really do believe the trucker situation is still going on, and it's not slowing down anytime soon. And let's see what happens in New York, okay? The sanctuary city status, it's still holding pretty strong. There's still a lot of migrants coming in, but can the city feed them all is another story. See you later.